guys, it's Kendall, and you're watching Dance Mom's Super Fan Takeover. Tonight, we're going vintage with a fan favorite episode from season three. Be grateful that Sophia has joined our group. But this time, we've added a twist. One of Dance Mom's biggest fans is gonna add his own commentary along the way. So you'll get to learn some new and interesting facts about your favorite Dance Mom stars. You are a plagiarist because that little girl is somebody else's student. Chloe was awful today. So get ready for Dance Mom's Super Fan Takeover from episode 303, But I'm a National Champion. What are we doing to our kids? Start warming up. Last week was really tough. I pulled a replacement team in. Hi. Go ahead, right through into the den, and the girls can start stretching. Even though we got seconds, I would much rather work with these kids. Pretty soon, those old moms would just be a distant memory. Real dance moms are here. Melissa's a high maintenance friend. I realize now that the way Abby treats my girls is never going to change, but they miss the studio and they even miss Abby. I know the last person Abby wants to see is me, but the other moms won't come back without me, and all of our girls are dying to be at dance again. You're part of the team. That's the whole point of this whole thing. It's great that Kelly wants to be back on the team. The problem is, it's too late. Abby's replaced us, and now we have to go crawling back to Abby and begging her to take us all back. I'm not signing a thing until your name is on it and you're walking through the door, and I think we all need to stick to that. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Shelly, this is Abby. It's about a half an hour into rehearsal, and I don't have Allie. She is not the kind of kid that's gonna be late. I'm calling to find out where Allie is. She was supposed to be here at 4 o'clock. We went back to New Orleans. She is in New Orleans, all the way back home. How did this get screwed up? Well, there was some really hard conversations going on about why they felt we came in second place. Your daughter came in second place, probably the reason the team came in second place, and now she's going to come in and be mad, and you're just like, it's all good. I mean, Allie cried the whole way home yesterday on the plane. Allie could not be blamed for that group dance. She was magnificent. Give my best to Allie. They were blaming her for the group dance coming in second. Crazy. Oh my god. Here we go again. Same old story. Jealousy is an ugly disease. You can ask Christy. Girls, go ahead into the studio and start warming up in there. I just got off the phone with Shelly. She said those other two mothers were telling my kid that she was the reason we lost the group. No. This is my livelihood. This is what I do. I don't have a husband that has a million dollar job. I don't, I don't do that. And the kid cried all the way home. These moms pushed one of my best dancers out. You know what? No more Mrs. Nice Guy. It's over. You two are out. Glow, Marsha, poof, be gone. I can't believe. Mom. You guys are the one that waited. Just don't fight. You want to stay. I can't believe this has all happened. I am left with one member of the Abby Lee Dance Company elite competition team. Right, you, take you are the only one left. So when we go away this weekend, you need to win your division and you need to win the entire competition. I don't want to piss her off more me walking in. So you're dying. I'm dying. I think we need to go. Let's move along. This is stupid. Abby basically blames me for the team falling apart. So I think if I stay outside, we'll have a better chance at reconciliation. What are they doing? Oh my god. I can't believe the same moms who quit for Kelly and her two kids are back in my parking lot again. But you know what? I just might have some opening. Ladies, you come in and dance, or you leave. You don't loiter in the parking lot. Are we being invited in? Can we come in now? If you want to come, the door is open. All right, let's go. I'll come in. I'll walk this in. This isn't door. a church, Holly. It's a dance studio. I got God all on my side. He comes with me wherever yeah, I go. I got God on your thighs, too. 
The moms quitting was their choice. They're quitters, that's what they do. That wasn't my choice. They walked out of here. And if they think that they're gonna walk back in, they have another thing coming. Each year, Abby has to sign this stupid contract that locks us in for a year. And in that year, you can't leave her studio, you know, short of death. You will not get past this front desk without these being signed. Where's Kelly's? Kelly called me names. Kelly quit. Kelly boohooed. And her kids are lazy sucks. We feel that Kelly is a part of our team. Jill, did you come here because Kelly's kids were here? You want to be loyal to somebody? It should be me. This is the hardest thing for me because my kids want to dance, and I don't know how long I can hold off. You took Maddie and put her on the same level as the rest of those kids. We didn't. We worked our butts off with your kids. Make a decision. Well, I brought Kendall here to dance. I need her to dance. I want her to dance. That's my decision. Finished. Make a decision right now. You either choose the Abby Lee Dance Company, or you can go play with Brooke and Paige. Well, my kids are not going to be playing. They're going to be dancing. I'm disappointed in Melissa and Jill. We had worked so hard. It was like all of that was in vain. Time is ticking, ladies. At this point, I think Holly and I have really done as much as we can do. We've said we're not going back in without Kelly, and Abby's like, so don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. All right, let's do it. OK, give us the contract. I think Kelly needs to go in and fight for herself and her daughters. So if Kelly comes to you and they say that they want to be back on this team, you would listen? I would certainly listen to them. I just want today to be the last day for this. She made us sign the contract. I'm going to go in there, and I am going to get my kids back on the team. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Good. How are you? So why do you want to come back? You hate it I here. don't want to come back. My kids want to come back. But and well, every single mother in the group and kid in the group wants us here. You called me a whore. You made fun of my weight. You gave me the finger. And you called my kids stupid. They are. They make but, dumb choices. I, mean, I don't want to argue with you anymore. I want you to get over the that happened with us 30 years ago and treat my kids like you treat everybody else in this studio. That's what I want. Well, I don't want your kids to be mediocre. I want them to be amazing. And if they're not willing to be amazing, then hit the door. I don't know what the woman wants me to say. I mean, my kids want to be back on the team. They tried out for the team. They made it. They should be on the team. So here we are. We show up to class in walks Jacqueline straight off of the streets of LA. Skinny, 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 gorgeous, but it's obvious she does not fit in with our team of dance moms. Well, well, well. Here we all are again. You know, I've just come to the decision, as hard as it's going to be for me, to go in there and kiss up to that woman, I'm going to do it. Here's your contract. Get in there, girls. Kelly hands me her contract without a peep. There it is, signed, her signature. Now let's just see if she can keep that mouth shut. Ladies, last week we went to a competition in Fort Wayne, Indiana. There were over 1,000 people there just to see the Abbey Lee Dance Company. While you all were out in the parking lot, Sophia was in here learning. As you can clearly see, we don't have a pyramid here. Chloe, Nia, Maddie, Mackenzie, Kendall, you all realize with the exception of Sophia, that you are on probation. You are all on the same playing field. Abby chooses one kid in the studio that she focuses on. Now Maddie did something to piss Abby off, and now she's moving on to somebody else. That's what all of you wanted. You didn't like the pyramid, moms. You want all the kids to be treated equal. That's what you got. Chloe's worked her butt off for Abby, and she won a national title. And now Abby's going to replace her with some girl off the street? Jackie, you're OK with your kid being a winner. I know that I can count on her, that she's a team player. And Jackie, I watched you in the dressing room. I watched you help everybody with their hair. I watched you be kind to all the other women. 
and I appreciate that. Jackie seems like she's this perfect mom, but I've heard a lot of things about her, and I don't know, she doesn't seem so perfect. This week, we are going to Ohio. The group routine is called Red Carpet Special. It's a really sassy, hot, funky number. Sophia, you are doing a solo called Superstar. I think you did an outstanding job last week, and I want to see a repeat of the same thing. It is not fair that Sophia gets a solo this week. Our girls work their butts off, and they die for solos every week. How many turns do you do? 54. Why do I want somebody that can only do 53? I would prefer not to take any other solos. But I committed to attend the competition, so we're going. Not one of these kids deserves a solo, but I have no choice. So I'm going to take my national champion and see how much she's regressed. My next solo will be Chloe. It's contemporary. You are the national title holder. And you want to keep it up, then you have to keep winning. Surprise, surprise, Abby gives Chloe a solo, not as a reward, but as a punishment, because she's going to make her dance against Sophia. I want to direct my attention to the moms. I need to see your loyalty for what I'm doing for your children. You will have assignments, and you're going to do a whole lot more than sit on your butts upstairs in my studio. Did she forget that we're the ones who pay her to teach our kids dance? We have other children, other responsibilities, and you are not in charge of us. Ooh, who has their nose up in the air? They need to volunteer a little bit. And if they don't want to, out the door. Ladies, spread apart. We have lots of work to do. This is all about being superstars. Being celebrities, being on the red carpet. Everybody wants to take your picture. Everybody wants your autograph. So that's what the piece is about. You know, this team, they think they're all back together again. I was left with absolutely no team. Sophia stepped in and saved the day. She's a star, and they all better get used to it. Be grateful that Sophia has come to Pittsburgh and joined our group. It's like going from mediocre to flying first class. Miss Abby kept saying how much how much better Sophia was than all of us, and that gave me a purpose to work really hard to show Miss Abby one day I will be as good as Sophia. I I wanted to see how many pirouettes? Fifty eight. I think she can do fifty four. Fifty four in tap shoes. I would have seen. That's a reflection on the teacher. Like, she can say to our kids, you can't turn, but she doesn't like when I say to her, well, you can't teach them to turn then, obviously, because my kid's been here since they've been two and a half. I think she's fabulous. Right, and she's going to beat our kids every time. Abby, which is, we understand that. that we Melissa and Christy, they're not feeling so welcoming to this woman. Get used to it. Your kid's not always going to be the best. Why do you need to do 58 pirouettes and tap shoes? There's a world record, continuous pirouettes. So is she a world record holder? She consistently can break the record. Look, all these girls are really good. They're all stars. Jacqueline's trying really hard to come across as the picture-perfect mom and the dance mom who doesn't get involved in all the drama. But I have friends in California, too, and they have warned me about her. She's not all she seems. I read some of the things that you wrote online about a little girl named Mia in Miami, and it wasn't very kind. So I'm glad that you're at least being kind to our children. I would never write anything about Mia. Oh, it was written from you about a little girl in Miami who you said who's amazing, who you said, who cares? Why another contest about her? She's not even that good. So I'm just grateful. That. Well, OK, then I must have faulty reading. No, I heard that too, actually. Yeah, but you know, you, you hear a lot of things, but that's not true. Chloe, listen to me. The name of the music is Another Girl. Whether the other girl's in your mind, whether she really exists, whether it's you. I know Chloe can relate to this. This song, Another Girl, is about being left in the shadows of some kid that's famous and popular. First it was Maddie, now it's Sophia. Uh oh, change step up. OK, you got that? All right, I'll be back in. I have an acro private, but I'll come back in the whole break. 
Okay. Abby's already made it abundantly clear that Sophie is the only person that matters, but to cut Chloe's solo rehearsal short to have an acro private with Sophia is simply below the belt. Abby thinks she's the amazing superstar, and she loves her, and they have this great relationship, and she's a breath of fresh air, blah, 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 but our kids have been beaten down for years. I think this is one week that Melissa and Maddie are thinking, thank, thank God, God I don't have a solo. Melissa and Abby are buddy-buddy. And everybody knows that Melissa will do whatever it takes to have her kids number one in Abby's eyes. Oh, yeah, that is overflowing. What are you people doing? I probably cleaned this place out 12 times because it was filthy. Being Abby's slaves. And Melissa, you're taking out garbage? I always do anyway, even when Melissa, I work. Melissa, don't take out the garbage. I always do. Don't! Maddie McKenzie were always Abby's favorite, and if I have to take the trash out or clean outside, um, I'm fine with that because I just don't want Abby to be mad at us anymore. Back walk over to one knee. Simple. Arms up! Bigger ears! We need to do some sort of initiation, a competition. Like what? Well, she's really good. Like, she's good at guarding. Like, Jill, I could get a little at, you know, and she... <laughs> This one's a little bit more like, she's she's well practiced. I think everyone here is a little annoyed that Jackie Waltz is in, you know, with her perfect little dancer and their perfect little costumes and their perfect little makeup. I don't think anybody would be overly annoyed if they packed up their perfect little suitcases and hit the road. I don't know what we could do. I'm not good at that kind of stuff. <gasps> we could put E6000 in her eyelash glue. Because she's wearing eyelashes. Oh my god, we can't do that. My god, she could go blind. I want her to be a triple threat and then some. What can we do to her? She's going to do tumbling. She's going to do acrobatics. She's going to do contortion work. You could roofie your drink. Oh, God, no. Oh, uh, my God, you're mean. I'm not going to, like, roofie her and have her have to go to the hospital and get her stomach pumped. You're evil. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going because I've been roofied before. You're supposed to be an A. Gianna's already in there. Let's go. Come on. I don't know why you're acting like it's a picnic. We're going to be on a bus in a few hours going to a competition. I am really nervous about this week's competition. To get five kids who have been sitting in a parking lot back in the studio and back in sync with each other, that is my goal. And right now, they're all over the place. So I guess Abby didn't get a good night's sleep. She was a little crabby this morning. I think Abby needs more than a good night's sleep. She needs a good roll in the hay. That's exactly what I'm saying, Jill. Ribs right, left, right, left. Is Abby married now? <laughs> I said maybe if Abby was thin, she could find a man. And Kelly's response was, it doesn't matter how thin she is, she's still a giant bitch. Oh. <laughs> I think Abby's actually very pretty. Oh, it's it's too. her she, yeah. It's her attitude. Gianna, do you think you could run up and tell Sophia's mom that I really want her to watch and not be chit-chatting with the other moms? I think that Sophia has been sent to me by the dance gods. My moms drove one kid after another away from my company. I've had it. It's not going to happen with these new moms. Not on my watch. Would you want to live with her? Um, Abby just wanted to make sure that you were watching the oh, warm-up. OK. All right, thank you. All right, Sophia, you're up. This number is jam-packed full of difficulty. And Sophia uses that face. She uses that style. She hits every accent in the music. Really have to stretch that knee. Feel like I'm pulling it. It's kind of hard not to be jealous of her when I watch her because even though she's my age, she can do 54 turns and I can't. So do you get up every morning and do the stretches before she goes to school? No, she goes home school. I know, but you take her to school. I do, yeah. Right now we're going Mondays and Fridays. Oh, that's so all you have to go to school? Two days? Between two to four, yeah. You're killing me over here. <laughs> she's a teacher. Yeah. the educator. I know. She's gonna... I will make sure we have at least two hours before we go to dance. So like if she goes to school from 9 to 11, then I'll get her home by 11.30 and then she stretches from 11.30 to 1.30 and we'll have a two o'clock rehearsal every day. Sophia only goes to school two hours a week. Our girls actually go to school full time and then they come to dance. It's kind of sad. Thanks for doing your turns for us. I appreciate it. I'm really serious. I think that I'm going to ask you and your mom if 
You could do a senior company turn class. When I, uh, sometimes I'll teach the little kids that are senior, and I'm really mean to them. <laughs> You're really mean? Yeah. I like mean. <laughs> I'm really mean, too. Yeah. <laughs> these kids back on my team. Now, the least their mothers can do is roll up their sleeves and do a little work for me. Where are the counts for the pictures? We didn't count them because you have staff members that you pay to do your jobs. We pay you to teach our kids dance. Christy, can you really not count that high? Nope, I can't, Abby. See, I'm the product of a public school. Good thing I wasn't homeschooled. I wouldn't be able to even count to 10. Oh my God, like Christy is not giving up on Jackie. She's calling her out on being homeschooled. I just think Christy doesn't want her on the team. The days are She's choreographing again 30 minutes before we I, d I did not realize that. I yeah. thought it was finished. Uh, that gives me anxiety. No, no, we learn them the day we leave. Uh, In this case. My daughter's learning uh, her solo and we're going to get on a bus. It's not three days before, it's the day yeah. of. Abby is clearly setting Chloe up to fail. She knows that none of the girls on our team are even at the same level as Sophia. Shoulders down! My daughter looks defeated. Why is she, do you think she's upset? Yeah, I know she is. Look at her, she's yep. trying. She's fighting it. I'm feeling pressure to go up against Sophia since she's a very good dancer. Now I feel like I have to work especially hard so that I don't let down the group. Took what out on you? I didn't count pictures. No, she was like yelling at me, and I was like, I didn't do anything. So I'm sorry that you get the brunt. I'm sorry that all of you guys get the brunt of it. You don't deserve it, you're little girls. I am sorry that Abby takes out her anger with me on you. That's not fair. Abby, I hate to break it to you, but if you really have a problem with us not doing all your little tasks, you need to come to us and stop sending messages to our children. Don't go in the den and sit and talk. If you can't control your own mouth, Come into A and start working. Jonna was in here that whole time waiting for you. And you're in the den, sitting, talking. Blah, 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 blah. You're going to be going to a competition where there's some of the best schools you ever compete against. People that did the group dance are not good enough. So you need to step up your game or bow out gracefully. You look nervous to me. Yeah, you know what? I thought so, too, from the get-go. Yeah, there's something going on Something's in there. Something's going like... on. Oh, jeez. Oh, I like that. The kids look horrible. They can't even do the choreography I'm giving them. And I have way too many kids in this number. It's a mess. There are too many people in this dance. We are auditioning for this routine. You're going to play casting director. So you are looking for the best team to go out on stage and do this routine. She cuts Maddie and Mackenzie. I think they're going to be devastated. If you're casting a five-year-old, maybe you're just going to keep Mackenzie. If you're casting the Lion King, maybe the only one you're going to keep is Nia. Here we go again with Abby typecasting Nia. Are they drawing your eye because they were amazing, or are they drawing your eye because they were late, or they were sloppy? Of course, anybody watching their own daughters dance are going to pick their daughters. They, they have them on this team because they want them to compete. So of course we're not going to tell you to take our kid out of the group dance for the competition. I mean, we would be stupid. Christy could not, would not look at Sophia. Christy, if you want to sit there and not watch that kid and pretend that she doesn't exist, that's stupid. I That's just stupid. watching. You can't command where my eyeballs went. I don't want to command anything. I'm just telling you that you're foolish not to learn from people that are better than you. That's how you get better. Brooke, you just seem like a day late and a dollar short. Maddie, I think before Sophia was here, you hit those accents. Mackenzie, it's fine. It's good. It's on par. I need to think about what's best for the group. If I ask each of your mothers, who they think should be in the dance first. They're all going to say each of your names. Even though they may think differently, they're going to go with their own kid. They cannot be objective. Can you? No. Brooke, you're out. 
Kenzie's smaller than them, and she's not at the same technical level as them. So to me, it would only make sense to get rid of Mackenzie. But of course, she's going to get rid of my kid because she hates me. I just want to let y'all know, I think some of your kids are in a little bit of trouble this weekend. We're getting on a bus. We are going to a competition. There are going to be people there doing their routines from last year. Everyone is out to beat the Abby Lee Dance Company. I don't think Sophia should be worried. I think that group dance should be worried. I think the soloists should be worried. I think it's been a very tense few days. Your fault. Your fault, well, your fault, your fault, your fault. Yes. Maybe if Abby hadn't replaced Brooke and Paige, you know, we wouldn't have had to protest. We wouldn't have had to sit in the parking lot. She wouldn't have had to bring in a replacement team, and our girls would be prepared this week. I think everyone here is thankful for the experience that they have had and for the dance change our children dance. They don't know how lucky they are. But pointing fingers right now is really not getting us anywhere. And trying to belittle children by saying they're ungrateful. They are. They are not. They don't even know what they have. That's, that's I don't need to belittle your children. They do it all on their own. Shut your mouth! We have pulled out miracles making these kids look good. Let's just go. Let's stop fighting and try to be a team just for this weekend. You came in at a really tense time. I don't like to be nervous. We're going back to intensity dance, but it's in Ohio. Some of the toughest schools in the country are in Ohio. And we're coming in with a brand new number, with a new dancer. Am I out of my mind? Yes. Some would say that I am out of my mind. Girls, listen. Those kids recognize you because you are national champions. Do you understand that? If you were the losers, I don't think a 1,000 people would be downstairs to get your autograph and your picture. This team needs to get right back to that same exact place when they won the national championship. Sophia, come on, get out of here. Hopefully, all eyes will be on Sophia. Everybody wants to be a superstar. Everybody wants to be Sophia. Abby is rehearsing Sophia, while Chloe, who is Abby's student, is in the corner rehearsing on her own. Two, three. Oh my God. Illusion. Illusion. Just, you've been here, what? Two weeks, and I'm already getting phone calls. Hey, I heard you have this kid, da 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 All right? So be that superstar. Step out there and own that stage. Got it? This is a really strange competition for us because Abby's really not paying attention to any of our children. All right. OK. Everybody ready? Game faces. <laughs> Sophia is about to walk out on stage. And I hope these judges have their eyes up and they're focused on her. This is Sophia with Superstar. <laughs> S-U-P-R-S-T-R, let's party like a superstar. S-S-U-P-R-S-T-R, oh, oh, you are a superstar. S-U-P-R-S-T-R, let's party like a superstar. S-S-U-P-R-S-T-R, oh, oh, you are a superstar. S-U-P-R-S-T-R, let's party like a superstar. S-S-U-P-R-S-T-R, oh, oh, you are a superstar. Ain't Mr. DJ, when you play this at the club, don't forget to turn the bass up on the supersonic sound. I'll be the super. Superstar. 
if Abby so desperately wants Sophia to be part of this team, you know, she shouldn't have Chloe dancing immediately following her. Hitting children against one another isn't exactly, you know, team building tactics. All right, coming to the stage next, this is Chloe with another girl. judges are watching Chloe dance, they see the emotion. And that is something that Sophia doesn't have. pretty well. If she didn't sit on her butt all week, she might have been good. Good job. Nice job. Yeah. Good job, Sophia. Good job. Good job. Here, come sit up here by me. Can you let me down? No, Chloe, you never let me down. I'm just proud of you. You know? You win some, you lose some. No biggie. You're amazing, OK? Don't cry. No matter what Abby says, you keep your chin up. Chloe dances, she's telling a story, and she opens her heart, and she draws you in. And I think that that sincerity is why people like to watch Chloe dance. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. Yes? First of all, the director of the competition and everything are freaking out about you. And they are just going insane. The glee said before the straddling. Do you know exactly what I'm talking about? OK, and you're going to fix it? OK, that's it. Otherwise, great performer. And she is smart enough, she knows when she's fallen out of a turn, to get out of it and move on, not to ever let us see a bobble. How dare you, Abby, after my little girl just went out there and danced her heart out for you? Chloe deserves better than this, and I am not putting up with it any longer. We're here in Intensity, Ohio. All I have left is the group number. I'm hoping with these amazing costumes and the fabulous hairdos and all the different looks on the kids that I'm just going to confuse those judges and they're going to think it's spectacular. I'm watching all the girls get ready. And you know, all the moms are doing everybody's hair and they're getting in their costumes. And I just really feel bad that Brooke isn't here. Like, our team is not complete without Brooke. I think that, you know, I've made my first step. OK. I got Paige back on the team. And I'm going to do whatever I need to do to get Brooke back here. I don't want to cry. This is a happy day, because I'm back. Girls, when you get out on stage and you walk that red carpet, you can have all the fame and glory in the world. And somebody comes out that's better than you, you're yesterday's news. Let's go. The biggest concern of mine is the carpet, because the girls have not practiced one time with it. That's my biggest, biggest concern. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is entry number 38. This is entitled Red Carpet Special. <laughs> Uh, what's wrong? That stupid red carpet. It's like Abby sabotaging our girls. Abby and her props. It, you know, anytime she has a prop, it's a disaster. And the poor kid, she's pulling, and she's pulling, and the carpet won't go. 
So the red carpet didn't go well because when I was pointed out, the string kept getting caught under the carpet. Don't feel bad. The same thing happened at my wedding. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Straighten it out. Straighten it out. This number was not well thought out. Abby literally threw it together, threw the red carpet down, and threw our kids on stage. I'm a little nervous that maybe they won't even place in this competition. All right, all right, who's ready for some awards? All right, our elite junior solo division of competition. Fourth place with a score of 277 points is Miss Delaney with act number 28, Move Your Feet. Your second runner-up, ladies and gentlemen, with a score of 281.3 points is Miss Chloe with act number 25, Another Girl. I'm a little surprised Chloe got second runner-up. I thought she was beautiful and elegant on stage, but considering that Abby only paid attention to Sophia this week, I'm really proud of Chloe. Highest scoring elite junior soloist with a score of 284.1 points is Miss Sophia with act number 18, Superstar. There was no doubt in my mind that Sophia would win this whole thing. If the dance team wants to beat somebody like Sophia, they better get busy. Okay, so the judges selected routines that they just really loved from the day. Hi, everybody. There's something so humble and heartwarming about this dancer, and I hope she never, ever, ever loses it because it's very, very special. This is to another girl, Chloe. One judge specifically gave me an Expressive Heart Award, and that was something really special, and it was a really good moment for me. My job as a mom is to raise someone that I not only love, but I like, and I really like the person that Chloe is. To me, that's more important than any first place trophy ever. We're jumping right into Elite Junior Small Group. I'm really nervous for the group number. Ladies and gentlemen, your highest scoring elite junior small group. I just want first place so we can look at Abby and say, we're your team. With a score of 280.8 points is act number 38, Red Carpet <laughs> Special. Congratulations to all of our elite junior small groups. We just went and once again won first place. I just want to make a comment. Last week, the group wasn't here and they got second. This week, the group was all together and we got first. <laughs> I was proud of what the judge said about you. And I'm glad I got third and not second, so that Miss Abby can't say second is the first to lose. Somebody here at this poor sad child and what she just said. It's kind of sad that the girls can't even work hard and strive for a goal other than first place. You know, there's more to life than winning, Ab, and you should know that more than anyone. Can we talk about the group dance? I'm glad the judges weren't looking at all those mistakes. 
part of me feels like she was disappointed that they got first. Sophia, outstanding. High score of the entire competition. All right, Chloe, hot mess. Flexibility is getting worse instead of better. What were you balancing? Where was the balance? I've never seen you that off on your turns. Well, you know what, Abby? That's a reflection of you, because Chloe has been your student since she was two years old. Sophia walked in off the street from someone else two weeks ago. You're not her teacher. You're not stretching her every day. I pay you for her to go to class and stretch. You know how sometimes your child takes math at school, but they need a tutor for extra math? Chloe needs extra flexibility at home. Why haven't you ever told me that before today? I know that Christy's annoyed with me because I am showering Sophia with attention. But you know what? You quit. Sophia was there. Chloe is a product of you. She's been at your studio well, since she was two. She's lazy. Then why don't you say, do this? This is how you fix it. She I'm not a it. dance teacher. You tell me every day. Stop. Chloe is your student. And you are a plagiarist because that little girl is somebody else's student. And you right. just put it's... her name on her back. You're ridiculous. Chloe was awful today. I'm always the first to jump right back at Abby. You know, I believe in fighting fire with fire. But some of the things she said about Chloe were just so awful that it, it just hurt me. She reveled in doing that to an 11-year-old, and she did it. She did it to my, to your baby. What are we doing to our kids? <laughs>